Welcome, one and all, to session 44 of the Call of the Nether Deep. We are, fun fact, three days away from having done this for a year. Oh my god, really? We started on April 5th last year. That's so cool. Oh, Look wow. at us go. Happy birthday, Woo! everybody. Guys, we're almost <laughs> hanging out on our one-year anniversary. I didn't prepare anything. I'm so sorry. Me either. I, I didn't get anybody a present. Um. <laughs> we're, we're all present here. That's present enough. Hey! A pun you shouldn't know. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like Master Ugwe said, right, Tony? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't I don't fucking believe it. Oh wait. Oh my fucking god. There we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, I've said I haven't seen the movie. I don't know the reference. But no, that's my <laughs> reference that I stole from the internet. <laughs> I, I wanted to allow that to you, but no, his the line is yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Okay. All right, all right. Let's get on to trauma. That was Let's sad. Get on to That's trauma. too much sad. <laughs> the last time, y'all had beat up some elephants. You went to a bar and beat up some people there and made them run away like a couple of sissies. You know, not a lot happened really. Uh, you talked to the kind of hot high curator again, very briefly. Brought him some stuff. He gave you some money. You know. Normal, normal stuff for you guys. And then we found the sapphire at the crossings of Eventide. I don't think we need to rehash that. So, Lucas. Hi. What? <laughs> Present. The scene before you is eerily familiar. With the red sky, moon hanging above, and an unseen figure lit by a pillar of blue fire. You are very aware at this point with all that's happened to you before now. Decisions that are made by you and your companions here in this moment could have reverberations through all of your futures going forward. What are you going to do? I'm awake. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, um, a figure has, I'm just rehashing, a figure is lit by blue flame below us because oh, yeah. I saw the top of their head and that's it. Yes, to uh, How... I guess to re reset the scene. Yes, you are on one of the tiers on the cliffside with all of the uh, the necropolis tombs. Uh, speaking ten ten feet away from Issa, mm -hmm. uh, Lucas and Thorn, front and foremost, the others at a respectable distance. On the tier below, somebody had audibly muttered the word "scourgers." After Issa said more than uh, she thought would be a problem, mm -hmm. uh, reflexively, she fired three rays of fire at this individual, and that is where we are resuming. Okay. Um, so, basically, having foreseen this moment... Um, and knowing that this person is below me, and knowing because, frankly, Issa just did it, uh, that one can jump safely um, down one of these tiers. Uh, Lucas is going to, uh, as soon as the bolts go off, I think there's going to be a moment where he is like, just a split second where he's like, oh my god. Not because of what just happened, but because like, this is it. This is the moment. And uh, I think his head's going to whip towards where the flames, uh, f 
like the the rays went and the scream mm -hmm. was and then i think he's gonna launch himself off the tier to go find that person all right <laughs> uh give me an just for fun an acrobatics check because we're having fun here right oh we're having so much fun hold on what's my acrobatics score wow okay cool let's go um <laughs> Won't be a particularly high DC. Sure, 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 sure. That's a five. Okay. No! <laughs> well, if you... she can do it, obviously it's easy. <laughs> you you land hard, and it kind of hurts a little bit, but in the with everything else that's going on, you're able to ignore that for the moment. Okay. Um. For the record, I don't know what Hopefully. everyone else is doing, but Lucas Hopefully has two things. Anything. Well, yes. well, we'll see. He'll power through it. It's fine. Lucas has two things in mind as everything happens. Thing number one is, in the moment, uh, make sure the person is not dead. Thing number two, if he needs to, uh, he can do a lay on hands on this person. But thing number two that's equally important is detain. Hmm. The fire Keep is... alive and detain. The, f the fire is still going, correct? Um... They are actively on fire? They're not actively on fire, but just the surprise and the adrenaline, the the image has been burned into everybody's eyes, particularly Lucas. But no, yeah, the right. fire was, for uh, mechanical purposes, instantaneous. Okay. Uh, so he is he is launching himself off this area. He is laying on hands if he has to, but he's basically flipping down there to like land this person to the ground and detain them. Okay. Grapple heal. Uh, <laughs> the person down on that lower level, one, you note that the scream was uh, more feminine than masculine. Uh, they are not screaming, but they are making conscious noises of pain and, like, trying to make sure they're not on fire. So they are conscious and alive um often those things go together you know um uh, i'm not being redundant you're being redundant uh, but yes you see a uh as you hit are you landing on them or landing near them um i feel like landing on them is detrimental to uh <laughs> keeping them alive <laughs> but like close so that he can spin around and like take them down basically like this is all okay. reflex then when you land near them uh their head whips up to look at you and you recognize a red skinned face with orange eyes and black sweater is this cinder you're one of them is this cinder it looks like her. Okay, just checking. He is still taking her to the ground. <laughs> I All right, uh, Let every everyone else can also be reacting, but that's what he's doing. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh. No, go ahead, Kitty. Oh, I, yeah. I was gonna say that um, after the initial moment of like shooting fire and like just kind of a freeze in that moment, as soon as Lucas like runs and jumps off the edge of the tier, Issa would, like, run over to the edge and just, like, look over and, like, make sure he's not dead. <laughs> and then after she, he's like, alright, okay, he's fine. She just kind of, like, watches what's happening, but she still seems tense. I don't have anything role-playing wise to add for Ben, but he could safely jump down to the slow fall and provide medical assistance with Lucas if needed, so that's kind of what Ben would do. The funny part of all this is Dagger would have so many feelings about Cinder being here, but Thorn has never seen this woman before in his life. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, Lucas, as you are taking her to the ground, give me an athletics check. Alright, let's do it! That's a little better. Oh, that's a lot better. Uh, let's go with a 15. Alright, that is contested by a six. So, yes! Uh, you bring Cinder to the ground and have her held in place, I presume. 
and she is struggling and not very happy with this situation right now, as you can tell. Um, um, he, of, for, for yes. the record, uh, as she is struggling, he's going to get his head low and close to her ear, and he's going to be like, you are in a very delicate place right now. I recommend sitting still before something happens. Make an intimidation check with advantage. Ah, hold on. Die down. Will my headphones reach? One second. Die down. Die down. All right. <laughs> so for the record, my first roll was in 19. My second roll is in nat 20. So... <laughs> That is a 28. <laughs> she just okay, pissed then. herself. <laughs> so she had been uh, swearing a lot. Uh, she settles down, but has, like, locked eyes with you, just, like, watching to see what you're going to do to her or about this situation next. So what happens now? Uh, he's gonna glance up. Is anyone else coming down, or are they all just watching from above? Ben, ben uh, would be with you. Ar 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 down. down. Yeah, Arno's coming down once he, especially once he sees it, Cinder. <laughs> so, Nick won't be down there. She'll actually still be up with Isa. She actually used this opportunity to be closer to Isa in the event that she tried to bolt, but she's not. She's trying not to make that very obvious, but she is leaning Did down to look over. Define closer. Uh, within, I'd have to say five feet, within reach. Within but five not, feet? Yeah, but I mean, not like in your space. Like, she's not like, oh my god, right up to you, but she's standing right next to you looking over the edge. One grid square over. <laughs> yeah, one grid square <laughs> over. There's a full person length between us. I was gonna say, uh, Thorn is probably staying on the upper tier with Isa as well. Um what what side of her is are are you standing on? Right or left? Thorn? Or both of you. Both. Uh Thorn would stand so that he can see her with his left eye. So that would So put, he's on her right. Yeah. I'll say the okay. direction you all were up on here and approached the blue torch, the lower level had been on the party's left and down on Issa's right. Uh, so I guess Thorne will have to go around past Issa to the other side if he's going to have her on his left. Okay, so Issa's yeah, between uh, Thorne and Nyx then, roughly? Is that what we're going to go with? I guess, yeah. Okay. And for Arno's sake, we will say that when Cinder is brought to the ground, uh, the hood falls down and you can see the mane of red hair uh, much more clearly. Mm. Also, Lucas can just hear her mutter, fuck, that hurt more than I thought it would. Yeah, once, yeah, Arno, once they, once he got down, would look at Cinder and be like, Fuck! What are you doing here, Cinder? Well, I was following the mysterious newcomer, who I am glad I was, because obviously she turned out to be a skirter. What are you doing here? You don't know what you're getting in the middle of. And you've jumped to cons conclusions before without consulting. I didn't have conclusions. That's why I was following her. Conclusions were met ten seconds ago. From the yeah, tier really above, <laughs> I feel like Thorn would just be like, "Do you always just follow random people?" <laughs> uh, 
How funny that Dagger of all people is asking that. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea of their connections. That's what makes this funny. But you can see that Arna recognizes this person. This is a person familiar to the party. And he's just like, why is she randomly following people? Like... <laughs> I don't think she uh, uh, gives a satisfactory answer with the one. She just uh, is very unhappy with her current situation right now. Ix will take this opportunity to kind of side glance to Issa and in a hushed tone. Did you know she was following you before? she was following me, but I had a suspicion somebody was. <laughs> Since you got here, or just today? At some point, since I arrived in Ankorel, I just had a feeling that someone was keeping an eye on me. Thought I lost her. Obviously not. Ix will then direct attention back down to Lucas and see what he does next. <laughs> Lucas is still on top of this woman. He's like, Ugh. there are no weapons out, though, for the record, which is better than usual. <laughs> oh, Steve's totally out. <laughs> Excellent! Fed can be the intimidation with weapons. Lucas is just with her parents. <laughs> Lucas... That was a joke. You're painting ben, yourself in a fantastic ben. light right now. <laughs> I was making a bear joke. <laughs> Sorry, I, I felt like I had to explain myself. <laughs> that was all build up for a pun. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I failed you. <laughs> Actually, I, I take it back. I think he would give some answer to Thorne's question about do you just follow random people uh, Cinder will say well when a newcomer in town starts skulking through alleyways and spying on you guys then yes I am going to follow them and see what their deal is why are you keeping note of us say again why are you keeping note of us? And who's following us? Good question. Well, I was keeping note of anyone following you, she says to Arno. And they happen to be with you. Yeah, it'd be like... Mm. I like to well, maybe. of the facts. I would think so, and yet you never discuss things with me before you decide to do things. You just take matters into your own hands. You have not once reached out to me about anything you're doing. I didn't feel anything I was doing needed to be brought to you at, up before now. Yeah, you'd be like, when we talked, you didn't mention that anything to do with the sketches was what you were looking into. I didn't think there were scourgers in town. That was a surprise. Well, these two are handled. She looks at Lucas, looks at Issa as best she can with, you know, held down on the floor. So I see. You're not dead yet. I've listened to the man. And for that, I am grateful.
I have one question for you, Cinder. She looks at you. What were you going to do with this information? Considering I only just got the information, I hadn't gotten that far yet. But, as I've told you before, my purposes here are to keep an eye on the various factions in Ankarel, make sure none of their conflicts boil over to affect the everyday citizens. Then this feels like none of your business. I think you should consider forgetting it. She stares at you for a moment and seems to be the, the you can you can uh, sense the gears turning. Riding that net, 20 intimidation. <laughs> just, just riding it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she she's not she's not uh, sassing back at Lucas right now. Um suppose you don't leave me much choice but to agree with anything you say right now. You also have my word, Cinder. If it was something that would endanger the populace, I would let you know. But honestly, the only reason why there is any sort of danger to a populace is because you stuck your nose in. And I would have been able to warn you of that if you had come to me once you started following someone following us. Uh, Arno, give me a persuasion check. Or intimidation, whichever you feel is appropriate. Arno is a, an intimidation boy. He's a persuasive. Intimidation boy is already doing his thing. Yeah, it's good. Good top, bad top. What would you roll? I'm sorry, did I miss it? No, uh, 21. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, I was thinking the same thing. Did I, did I miss the number? Um, okay. So, on the ground with Lucas holding her down, Cinder's looking up between, uh, her, uh, him and Arno. He's back and forth a couple of times. Let's out a sigh of uh, resignation. Perhaps my words are hollow while I'm being held on the ground, but I will trust you with this. Since you seem to know more about the situation than I do. Heather has thoughts about that. I'm on push to talk for a reason. <laughs> I think it's important to note that Lucas is not getting up. Yeah, she she was about to ask, can I stand now? She's getting a little uncomfortable. 
I think he looks so conflicted right now. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to uh, just still holding her in place uh, look at Arno. Yeah, Arno would just have a like I got her. Me and her will have a talk later. He would, like, look at her. She's a little awkward in her current position, but she nods a little bit at you in acknowledgement of that. But until we have a talk, nothing of what you've heard tonight goes anywhere. Deal? Agreed. I want there to be like a Boy Scouts honor, but for Grinners, and I don't know what it would be. <laughs> Pinky swear, damn it! <laughs> Surely, uh, uh, the the first line of a chorus from a Grinner song. For what it's worth, yeah. I'm gonna roll an insight check to see if Cinder's being truthful. Certainly. Uh, that is gonna be a twelve. Ah. Oh no. Ah! Can I do an insight check? I forgot I had my high insight check. I forget I could roll insight checks. I suppose. <gasps> I love how Star's like, I guess. One insight check equals five. Let's go. I... Alright, so that's a natural 17. I just don't remember what my new modifier is to a seven. Plus eight, so twenty, what, twenty-five? Twenty-five. Okay, so a twelve and a twenty-five. So first, Isa, uh, you have less to go off since you don't know this person as well as the others seem to, which also seems to be not a whole lot from what you gather. What you gather, they want to be out of the current situation, first and foremost. You gather they have some kind of rapport with Arno, but you don't know how deep or reliable that is for you. Okay. Duly noted. Uh, with a 25 Arno, uh, you get the feeling that she will hold to what she says and will keep this to herself until she's able to have a talk with you later. But also she wants to get out of the current situation there. I mean, that's entirely fair. Yeah, Arno would look up at Lucas and be like, she's good. doesn't like it, but he's going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Reluctantly removes himself. This is all... Uh, there are two different sources of reluctance at war in this boy right now, and both of them say don't get up. But Arno says it's okay. So he gets up. Ben will help you up. Lucas does not help her up. <laughs> <laughs> Use the third stairs. Cinder pushes herself to her feet. Uh, takes in a steadying breath as she uses her second ring. Uh, takes a look at Lucas. Like a sideways look at Lucas. Glances up at Arno. Gives a small nod just of acknowledgement looks at Isa in with an expression you've seen on 
other people many times before of just kind of memorizing an individual. And then she turns invisible. And you can see, just because she's so nearby, uh, Lucas and Ben and anyone with a high enough perception can see footsteps leaving. Not in a rush, just departing the scene. I really don't like that she just turned invisible, but okay. <laughs> what did you just say? I really don't like that she just turned invisible. Well, it seems to be a I want to cast fairy fire. Fucking do it. She she deserves it. I'm this... casting fairy fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly to make sure she doesn't like be like, oh, I'm gonna leave, and then loop around. Circle and, like, back. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that is a show of good faith. She doesn't deserve I mean, good faith. This is stupid. She's <laughs> hurting her. But she also, also, she knows what she is because he is also. He would one hundred percent go invisible and then come back around. Like, oh yeah, no, oh, we're gonna leave it alone, guys. She did not have to turn invisible. She could have just walked away. Yeah, the only thing she promised is that she would not talk about what she heard tonight. She did not promise that she would just leave. So, I mean, she also said she would leave it to you, but yeah. and, oh, there's leaving it to him all the way, and there's still listening. I mean, you're casting What's that spells, roll? You cast spells, roll that. So you can't cast a spell. Pretty sure yeah. he did cast it. Roll that. Roll that DC check, buddy. Super. <laughs> Let's see. He can drop it at any point, right? I'm sure. Yeah. He drops it with concentration. What's your DC? Uh, wait. Hold on. Fourteen. Okay, well, she got a natural 14, so... Oh. Okay. Well... She passes, but whatever. <laughs> you, you, just, you just hear her voice from 20 feet off going, Really? Arnold, yeah, really! We're at the point, it's like, what's the point of even rolling an insight check if the 25 insight is gonna make you believe the person? I mean... There's believing a person, and there's making a point. <laughs> but... I'm, I'm going to have to add fairy fire to a few spell lists here. <laughs> yeah. He'd probably be like, sorry, just have it. Too many invisible dicks recently. You're fun. <laughs> it's true. Our party has a big issue. With we have trauma with invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> you know, valid. Yeah. We have trauma like, with invisible dicks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and for the record, uh, Lucas is still standing there stupidly tense. Uh, I feel like he is actively working to calm himself down right now. But he's not saying anything. I think Thorn on the upper level with Issa um, will look at her a bit and just go, Are you okay? She's kind of just watching the scene unfolding below and her expression's pretty neutral um when he asks that there's a slight pause and then she's like well this certainly put a damper on your benevolent mood and it's like unclear if she's joking or not because <laughs> her expression doesn't change <laughs> um, let me insight check that. Sure. Make 
gosh, an actual decent roll from Thorn on insight? On a wisdom what? Test? 17. <gasps> what what are you inciting? Um I guess I'm I'm trying to think of how to word it. Uh I guess I'm trying to incite that her general mood because she is presenting as a like kind of neutral um and you know there's even some like she might be joking who's to say kind of thing but like i just want a better idea general Vibe you check. Know. yeah 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 okay um and more inside checks today than the entire like last <laughs> six months <laughs> um I would say with a 17, he he can tell that she's definitely tense, and there's something about the calmness of her demeanor that seems like it, it's not natural, like it's something that she is making an effort to maintain, um, but she does overall seem tense and just like not at ease with the whole situation at all okay that is and fair i will add it's not even it's not even just the cinder thing like just in general he just seems like edgy also if somebody was going to talk to lucas while he's trying to calm themselves they're welcome to um, I didn't want to seem like I was yeah. distracting from that. No, but... I was just making a statement. Okay, where okay. You're fine. <laughs> it's not like, oh, well, come talk to Lucas thing. It's just a... <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> so why I didn't have Ben say anything down there, because I was like, I don't I don't know what to add to this. So it didn't. that didn't seem like an invitation to me, so... <laughs> okay. I, was, I just wanted to make sure. Um, I also had to go through Jess's notes, because I was like, what the fuck was actually said at the end of last session before fire <laughs> happened? Uh, <laughs> Happy to help. Happy to be of assistance. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is partly why I uploaded the the session so quickly. <laughs> um, Personal reasons. <laughs> yeah, I'm never on top of it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so Thorn will kind of, like, it's, like, looks at her sidelong, um, but, like, it's also, like, to be more specific, it's, like, he's trying to look at her sidelong to keep it, like, low-key, but also he's still kind of turning toward her as he does so, um, so it's not really low-key, uh, but he is, uh, gonna s go... Would you want to go back if you could without consequences? Ooh, Ix will immediately like turn to look at her to see what her reaction is to that question. Out of character, I'm just like, oh boy, that's a question. Yeah. <laughs> um she doesn't answer immediately, uh, which is partly because I need to figure out what words I'm going to use. Um, but it, it looks like it, it looks so there's a pause, like she doesn't answer right away. And there's something in her expression that kind of flickers that like it bothers her that she doesn't have an answer ready to that question um and then eventually she just says i don't know For a long time, it was the only place where I mattered. It doesn't have to be. Uh, 
promises are easy to break. And she does actually look at him when she says that. Words are easy, he says, and he'll be turning towards her more fully too, as he says that. And he'll go, you're the one who called me tenacious, and I am, and I made you a promise, and this is my best. You said you always end up alone, but I'm here, Issa. I'm still right here. She looks like she doesn't know what to do with that. Like, it's, stunned is the wrong word, but like there's, there's some measure of surprise in her expression. Like she just, it's hard for her to process that fact still. Like she recognizes that it's true, but she doesn't really, she doesn't really seem to know like what to do with the fact that that's true. Sorry, I'm like thinking through like five different ways to continue this. Uh, <laughs> Would you mind if Ix said something real quick? Go for it. So obviously Ix can't see Issa's expression, but because she's facing away from her, but she can see thorns. And obviously I, I imagine it's, it's soft, it's genuine, right? Yeah. Okay, so from there, when he says those words to her and knowing her background and seeing Lucas in the state that he's in at the moment. Ix will pipe in and go, uh, she'll say it to, to Thorn over Issa's shoulder. Time, Thorn. It's going to take time. And then she's going to leave the ledge to go to Lucas to try and calm him down without touching him, but slowly being in his face to try and get him to relax. Not, again, forcibly, but just enough to try and calm him down from everything that is happening. That's a fair addition to make. Uh, I'm sorry if that does not help you. <laughs> no, 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 it does. It does. Um, the real issue is that this whole thing is reminding me of a conversation that Issa and Thorne had at one point, but I have no idea where when it happened, so I can't refer to it <laughs> easily. Yeah. But uh, is it the same conversation where the promise was made? No. Oh. No, it was on the road to Rosoma. Um, so it was like early on in early those on. conversations. Okay. Okay. Hang on. I'll mess You've it. given me keywords. I can probably find it. I don't know is a very key phrase. Go find it. This is fine. Yeah, go so, find it. So yeah, it, go find it. it comes down the ledge. <laughs> and I'm giving you guys time. It's great. Thank just you. Let me know when you're good. Um, just let me know. Uh, so Ix, Ix <laughs> comes down the ledge uh, and she's coming over to Lucas. Um, I've been made aware that Arno is also over uh, at Lucas and has put a hand on his arm. Um, Arno will be able to tell immediately that Lucas is just every fiber of his being is just tension at the moment and I think he looks like he's doing that thing where he is trying to calm himself down and cannot um, like his 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 hands you might remember this from the bar are like 
like t almost twitching a bit like calm down i can't calm down i can't he's just he's he is lost in something at the moment um ix will do as she did before which is lucas look in my eyes focus on me breathe with me you know just just calmly uh, i'm speaking faster than she should she would be speaking quieter softer um, again, she's in his space, but she is not touching. She's allowing Arno to do that. She's not touching Lucas from previous experience and just trying to match his breathing to match hers. He gets in his face and uh, <laughs> eye contact is made almost reflexively. And they do think that uh, very slowly, like longer than the last time we did this, but he slowly catches on and starts following along. Um, I think it still it still takes a bit, but I think it's able to, to center him a bit better. Um, okay. <laughs> um, and I think I think as as he comes comes out of it he's going to look at the both of them he's gonna kind of just his eyes are gonna just flicker in every direction just kind of taking in everyone's positions basically um reorienting pretty much yeah like coming back <laughs> where, where am i oh, like, okay um, <laughs> who's who's the president what is your first what and last name <laughs> Um, and then I think he's going to finally, he's going to look at Ix. There's going to be a brief moment where I think she'll catch a flicker of gratitude. And then he's going to look at Arno and his voice is a little shaky. And he just says, this was the moment in my dream. What dream? Yeah, it seemed familiar. Um, and he's gonna look back to Ix, and he's still, you know, we're in, the, in his head a little bit, but I, had a vision once, twice, actually, same one of this moment of us standing in Ankarel of a figure going up in blue flames after shouting about scourges fuck No one is dead. Not yet. I think in the race. Helpful. <sighs> but that's just it. We... Did I... Did I have it to stop someone from dying? Or did I... Did I have that dream because letting her go is going to be the biggest decision, the biggest mistake that I've ever made? I don't know why I had I don't know it's done Aren't... for now I guess we'll we'll revisit it but it's done for now for now we have the present and Nix will kind of tilt her head back up to Issa oh. as like a reminder of we'll unpack it just <laughs> not now good call good call good call uh <laughs> I saw, I saw him going back. Like, no. <laughs> call, call. His eyes will follow. <laughs> it, right. Yes. Right. Okay. Ix will then move out from in front of him to kind of give him better line of sight to Issa. Not, I mean, first of all, Ix is short, but it doesn't matter. She's going to get out of the way. So that way it's easier to see both Issa and Thorn up on the ledge um, and to kind of she will glance at Arno like in a, almost a silent question of 
I hope that what we did was the right decision. <laughs> He gives her a little smile and a shrug, like, no, don't worry about it. Just keep on, just keep on going. Let's go. <laughs> One thing at a time. <laughs> We're on the train now! <laughs> I hope that was enough time for you guys to find what you needed to find. <laughs> yes, I did. I did find it. Um... You're getting so good at this. <laughs> Teamwork. Um, so up above, uh, Thorn will, like, he'll probably, like, there's an acknowledgement to Ix's words, like, a, a slight nod, maybe a slight, like, frown, not in disagreement, but more so in, like, a, he's so aware. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, uh, as she hops down, he'll turn his attention wholly back to uh, Isa again um, and like speaking in a, a lower voice uh, he'll go you don't need to have a clear answer I'm not asking for a yes or a no I don't know is enough and as he said to me once and he'll like smile a bit still hope for you yet, right? She does smile a little bit at that, but it's kind of like a rueful smile, <laughs> like she's like she it's, it, there's a lot of like conflicting everything in her expression right now, and like it part of her looks like it, she wants to believe it but like it's really hard to believe it um and she kind of like glances down and sort of takes a deep breath you know it was almost easier when I didn't really care what was going to happen to me I got the truth one way or another and went back and if that ended up being the end of me then I'd made my peace with that and now, I don't know if I well, now I don't know I don't know if I can and that bothers me. I'm not used to not having the answers. That's supposed to be the one thing I'm good at. Insight check for clarity's sake. Um, because I feel like I'm not quite understanding, but I don't know if that's intentional. Um, is she upset about not being able to take answers back to the order? I'm, I'm a little confused. No, no, it's more like she. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I won't even make you roll for it. Okay. It, was, it wasn't my intention to make that statement misleading. Um, it's it's not that she's upset that she can't report back. It's that like she's upset that she doesn't really know what to do next. Okay. Okay. Like you, okay. you get you get the sense that she's she's used to being a decisive person, and that like her that she's used to knowing what she's supposed to do next, or at least like being able to decide what to do next. And the fact that she doesn't really know what to do with herself now is foreign and uncomfortable for her. Okay. 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 That makes more sense because I was like, "This is confusing and weird." Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Thorin 
will kind of grimace sy sympathetically um, at that. And he kind of looks down for a second, almost like he's searching for, like, what the right words. Um, and then he just has, like, a... I mean... You can't go back, right? That's the gist of it. I'm not sure you want to go back. So... Why not make the most of it? Let the dream continue for what it's worth. He thinks about this. After a moment, she kind of like tilts her head in a bit of like a you have a point sort of gesture um, and says, I suppose it is just a matter of choosing what consequences I want to face. I'm not sure I much like the idea of running for the rest of my life. I don't believe you would have to for the rest of your life. I'll find out how important I was in the grand scheme of things. Maybe they'll let me go. It'll be a blessing in disguise. Sorry, there was a suspicious bump in the hall. Uh, <laughs> this scourge is coming to take you out. <laughs> it's so oh, shit. Shit. Ah. Oh my god! It's very fire filled, and she's like, we'll you show what? you just how important she was. This is your fault. <laughs> Plus, if you're playing with fire, you're gonna get burned. I Ayo. can say this much. I know that between my friends here, we have connections. There might be ways that we could help you disappear. And even if we can't, you know, because it might not be foolproof, whatever. <laughs> you don't need to face all of this by yourself. Seems a little unfair of me to expect you to clean up my mess. You cleaned up mine. It's only fair to help you when you ask me it, too. Think about it. Either way, I'm not going anywhere right now. Does that include the inn? Because I would really like this conversation elsewhere. Is that uh, said in character? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ix is looking up. You. Yeah, Ix is looking up like. 
I don't want to be around dead people anymore. I don't want any more people sneaking <laughs> around. I want to go back. It's not the dead people you should worry about. Um, she's not worried about the dead people. She just doesn't like to be surrounded by them. She just doesn't like them. It's just eerie and gross. This is not her scene, okay? Well, she's not surrounded by them. They're, they're tucked in their little cubbies. That's too close. Um... I feel like Orin Beast does, does look a little bit hesitant at the suggestion of going to an inn. Like, she doesn't object out loud, but, like, she kind of, like, bristles a little bit. Thorin might see that, but he will... He will hold out a hand and go... You do still owe me a dance, Dormouse. That, that gets a bit of a smile out of her again. She looks a little bit sheepish. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she kind of, she kind of looks at him and she's like, That was a little mean of me, wasn't it? <laughs> to leave like that. Mean? Nah. I understand why you did what you did. Now, but if you just because... Oh. Sorry. Uh, just because I'm an instigator, um, and we have somebody with 20 passive perception in the party, is is Lucas making a face that Ix might pick up on? Or is that just Jess? Um I saw that face. <laughs> trying to remember what my face was. Uh I think mm -hmm. Lucas is actually looking away. Like yeah, mm -hmm. at that last bit, I think his gaze slides away. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Carry on. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to remember my train of thought. Uh, I said, you did what you, I know why you did what you did. Um, but if you're not running right now, you know, why not dance? Just to clarify, does he mean like, like in general, or like right this second? In general, <laughs> he's not okay. expecting them to dance right here. No, <laughs> this no, this know. is a lead-in. I don't know. You know that's fair. That a, that's a good question because I was like, they are not gonna dance up in this fucking crib right now. No, I'm absolutely like, not. That would be some goth <laughs> shit, and that is unfortunately not a uh, Thorns vibe. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is more so a lead-in of, like, come with us, you know, maybe not forever, like, kind of thing. But, like, come with us right now to another more, I don't know, peaceful, happier location. So. Change, change a whole thing. new world on a magic carpet! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we took the magic carpet here. <laughs> oh my God. But we can walk, it's okay. How could you forget? I ask every time. I know. <laughs> um... She'll kind of look down at his hand, and then she does turn and kind of glance down to where Lucas is as well, for a second. Face turns away. Yeah. Um, and she says... All right. either way and she Wh which hand is he holding out to her by the way uh prob probably his left since she's on his left his left 
so far right. Okay. Um, she will. She will allow him to take her right now. So she. He's holding his hand out to her. He's not trying yeah. to take her hand, just for. So but she's like taking a... his hand. Yeah. So I. Okay. I, okay. I, I <laughs> holding his hand out like he's expecting her to like yes that is okay yeah, yeah okay yes sorry i'm i phrased it weirdly but yes <laughs> she will take his hand and it will be her right hand which okay he would probably note is a little unusual how so because she very rarely ever lets oh her right hand. no yes that i know i just i thought you meant like there's something unusual he feels about it for a second. Um, it's a claw. I mean, I, it's wooden. Oh my god. No, it's fine. It's fine. Would, would you care to, or shall I? Go for it. Uh, well, uh, since you since you mentioned it, the hand also does strike you as odd. Uh, circumstances aside. Uh, you take her hand once she holds it out to you, Thorn, and through the glove, it does not feel as soft as a normal hand made of flesh might. It almost feels like you're holding the hand of somebody wearing a very thin gauntlet under their glove. It feels hard so the implication is she is wearing a gauntlet of some kind or she's not but okay. it it doesn't feel like flesh okay under the glove okay he won't comment on that or anything but he he notes it him a little expectantly. Alright, we ready to go? Or what? She kind of just like nods and like a this was your plan. It, that was to of. the group in general. No, no, no. no. Was this just all an elaborate ruse to get me to hold your hand? I mean, probably, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> so that, would, that would be like his goal and be like, yes, I got it! <laughs> I win! <laughs> I, just, I just want this all to be very much in character of him saying it out loud and her being like, I, I already gave you my hand. And her being like, no, no, everybody, not! Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Honestly, it would fit. <laughs> like... <laughs> We're all so smarty over here. One hundred percent suave. <laughs> Ix will sigh and be like, "All right, let's go." And she'll kind of look to Ben like, "Let's get the carpet. I want to go." Ben gets it out, but there's a little less enthusiasm in his voice, and he goes, uh, "Squadala." Seven people now crammed onto this carpet. Oh yeah, I don't know if Issa would like that. I'm gonna say I don't know that Lucas would like that. So <laughs> yeah. like that. isn't it six people? Am I? Uh, yes, there are six. Yes. Okay. So I was like, <laughs> Cinder is is <laughs> Cinder is on. She's <laughs> <laughs> in the didn't, far corner. Didn't you know the I mean, DM always comes with you everywhere you go? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll walk one, if you guys want a private maybe. carpet ride. Because uh, I could always go for some honey flame bread if you guys just want to ride on your own. Oh, I'm not in a mental state. Lucas is not in a mental state. I'm in a mental state. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you two don't have to be mutually exclusive. I know, but I want to insight check. And I can't right now. <laughs> what do you want to insight check? Ben. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Without even rolling, you know for a fact Ben is probably hungry. 
<laughs> that, you know what? Fair. That's what the low energy like squad of lava was. He just has gotten to the threshold he needs. <laughs> well, no, that was just Ben reading the room. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I need a snack. <laughs> I think even five of us is still too much. But, I think uh, if anything, especially if Issa is uncomfortable riding the magic carpet in close confines with everybody, Thorn would offer for the two of them to walk. Yeah, the the carpet's not the problem. I think it's the the prospect of being like that close to that many people. That's yeah, not yeah, palatable for her. All right, that's fair. No carpet. We'll all walk back. It's not like we don't have time anyway. So it is getting somewhat dark at this point. Uh, and we've been in Antorel long enough. We could do it. Yeah, plus Ben yeah. knows the streets well enough, so. We'll walk our way back. Now, just to be clear here, Stars, with the screaming and noise of earlier... Um, are we aware of any activity at the temple as we leave? Let's see. The temple at the base of the cliff, um, as you are leaving, there doesn't seem like any kind of commotion or anything like that. Um, there is a familiar figure watching you leave. Uh, it is uh, the robed form of silence, the albino kenku. Because he was there when we got there too, though, right? We kind of notated him on our way in. I, Did I, was, we? I couldn't remember for sure, but yes, they are. They are still there, and they are noting you leave, but they don't make any other moves okay with they don't seem to be running off to report to the guards oh there's people making trouble in my in my necropolis okay um teenagers. with that then i think with it being calm and everything as we walk away from the temple um just from like one of the adjacent rooftops uh, a crow is gonna fly over and land on Thorn's shoulder. And this crow has, like, one black eye, one pale blue eye, and, like, a necklace of trinkets and things around its neck. Um, and Thorn doesn't acknowledge this. He just goes on chatting idly with people as if this hasn't happened at all. Though he does have a little I bit don't... of a doofy grin. <laughs> like... I'm... When I did you get a crow? But, uh, let, let, what were you about to set the stage for? And then we can go into that. Hmm? Oh, uh, Kitty and Arna were talking at the same time. Yeah, no, what was Kitty about to say, too? Oh, I was just gonna say, um, like, slight, slight rewind. As they were leaving, like, the necropolis, she would have done just, like, a low whistle, and Whisper would have swooped down from wherever it was that he'd been perched earlier and he's not landing on her shoulder but like she, he does follow after the group at her behest so I, I just wanted to establish that but then oh, yeah, go yeah. on um, and then the rightful question that Arno asked when did you get a crow <laughs> I think what would be funny is if the crow landed on his right shoulder so Thorn just looks at Arno for a second like the crow uh, in his blind spot and just be like what crow what are you talking about i don't see a crow on insight your shoulder check. is he fucking with him <laughs> go yeah, for yeah, it insight <laughs> check to be full of shit <laughs> <laughs> so many birds oh my god dice is just having a party um 17 21 He's playing dumb. <laughs> He's fucking around so yeah. much. Yeah. Arno Grin, do you like Don't fucking lie to me. There's obviously a crow in the soda. Oh, this crow. Yeah, no, he's new. He's new. Oh. Um 
see, I, uh, you know, recently met somebody who has like an owl. Um, and I thought that's really cool. You could deliver messages with that. You could have them keep a watch out in the sky. So I figured, hey, let's put together a little spell for that. With a grin at Issa. <laughs> Yeah, you're just gonna... oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you go. Um, I was just gonna say she she looks a little surprised at first, but then impressed, and then unsurprised. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Lucas is going to very dryly say, "I thought you hated birds." I. You know, I'm not the best with animals, I'm not going to lie. Um, my hope is that since this is a familiar, technically, and not a pet, um, that that mental link between us will make it a little easier to understand him. Which, as he says this, the crow, like, is just tilting its head, like, excuse me, sir? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want to try that again? You are within pecking distance. <laughs> Ix will pipe up and go, what's his name? Uh... You didn't name him? I was just gonna call him Crow. You're awful. Oh... <laughs> God, Lord. <laughs> what do you name a bird? Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not in the radius. Person. You know what? You know what? Issa, what is the owl's name? Whisper. Oh, look, she has a name for her familiar. Honestly, you can't go west and kibble. My baby, my yeah. gal. So yeah, but, but we established that one already. <laughs> but I was pretty low. He oh, called it crow. Also, here's some art for the bird. Also featuring you Whisper. I want you to know it's that the doodles. <laughs> it's not the doodles. It's the main oh. sketch. Um, but I also have so many doodles. Let me post those. They're so derpy. I love them. This crow is the stupidest bird alive. I just need you all to know. I'm um, in love with this bird. I want to marry it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first one is already come on, here you go. The huff really does it for me. I like the wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. I feel like the wiggle wiggle part is like the birds just laying there looking dead and Thorne was just like, stop it, you look dead. So its response was to wiggle its feet. <laughs> like... Not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not dead I'm not dead, see? I can move my feet. Go faster. <laughs> <I> go faster. <laughs> <laughs> see, Ix doesn't have this knowledge, but she would be even more like, how did you not name? <laughs> I feel like Thorn would just be like, well, I don't know, like, what to name him, uh, Fred or something, like, just random, oh, oh, which as he says God. that, I feel like the bird is just cawing so loudly. <laughs> He's like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Issa would chime in and just say, the name will fall into place when you find the right one. I feel like the bird caused his agreement with that and Thorn is just like putting like one finger in his right ear like to silence it <laughs> just being like I'll be sure <laughs> like bird still in his blind spot so he has no warning about any of the noises yeah <laughs> can attest have birds it's very loud <laughs> <laughs> it's, <you're dumb. laughs> can confirm 
Like, if Issa held just... her, her arm out as, like, an invitation for the bird to perch on it, would it perch? Oh, probably, yeah. She just hops She likes Issa more than Thorn. <laughs> Why? She's like, this bitch over here. She'd probably, if, if it did go ahead and perch on her arm, she would probably, I don't know if Thorn is still holding her hand, but if he is, she would probably, like, extricate her hand so that she could, like, pet the bird. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the crow acts like a cat when it's being pet, where it's, like, nuzzling into the hand as it's happening. <laughs> I love this bird. I've only known this bird for five minutes, and I would die for this bird. <laughs> Accurate. That's how they get you. He jingles every time he hops because of all the trinkets he wears. Adorable. Also, I don't know if you noticed, Heather, but the little cuff that he wears around his ankle is supposed to be, um, like the little serpent cuff that Ix gave Thorn. Oh! I did see that he had cuffs and I was like, he's a familiar, why would he tag him? But that, that makes, that makes yeah. a lot more sense. No, Aww. he got jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> this bird can cast spells. <laughs> Just one, just one spell three times a day. We'll see how this works, because I am very curious wait, wait, on what wait. he's going to do. I don't think... He gave, no. he gave a crow minor illusion. No. <laughs> I don't it. think the cuff that he wears is the same cuff that Ix gave him. It just looks like it, because, like, you know, he's, he materializes. Oh, oh okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's even cuter! <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool, though, if he could cast it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, be careful what kind of magic you give to your familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, if I recall, minor illusion doesn't require vocal components. He would still he would still call he would though. Still he, would still, he would still scream <laughs> to make it happen. Say goodbye to any stealth check you were planning on making ever again. <laughs> it's not going to be Lucas and his nat ones anymore. It's going to be great. It's going to be Thorn and his jingling bird. Yeah, honestly. Um, for the record, Arno's eyes is not twitching in the background. <laughs> it <laughs> jingles like. Uh, I'm assuming we're still walking as we're doing all of this. Yeah, it'll be a somewhat long walk. Yeah, that's fine. It's allowed. Um, I do think that as we're walking and as all of this is happening, um, I just think that it's just to establish, I think Lucas's pace is going to slow just a little bit. Not far, but just to put him like a step or two back. Um, so he's still walking. It's just Behind slowing down. Not like way back, but like we obviously are not walking in a straight line, like side by side. So his is going to just come a little bit back. He's not leading the group, basically. Arno's keeping pace with him. We're not holding hands. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Damn. He's like, we're not holding hands. Like, well, that was Jess. That was not Lucas. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad. I was gonna say, I'm like, fuck, dude. Jesus. Okay, no, that makes more sense. Sorry. So don't even try to hold my hand right now. Just establishing the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ix is still giving and crap for not naming this crow. What would you name him, X? I barely know him. Give me some time. <sighs> How long have you had him? Like, today. Oh, he's a baby? I mean, he's a familiar. He, I don't know if they ever babies per he's se. He's a baby. He's a baby. I think Where he's did he get all of his fully... trinkets? I think he's a fully adult crow just from the Feywild. <laughs> he's a baby. <laughs> Park magpie. I think you should name him Jingle. Ix will look at the crow to see if he's happy with that name. <laughs> 
rage! The, I would like to inside check the crow. We're gonna roll for the crow. You get an angry squawk. <laughs> All right, fine. I didn't want to name you anyway. <laughs> I imagine he preens and continues to like nuzzle into Issa's hand if she's still pet petting him. So, <laughs> name yeah, stupid you know. little crow butt face. <laughs> is, it, is that said in character? Yeah, but not really upset, just, you know, playing along with I, it. I feel like Issa would kind of look at Ben as he says that, and there's this, like, lit second look on her face of, like, is he 12? <laughs> <laughs> but then she kind of just shakes it off. She just seems a little bit like it's like half surprised, half amused, almost. I will say to the butt face comment, uh, the crow definitely gives like Ben the eye for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Ben will give the crow an eye right back. Exchange that stink eye. <laughs> Ben's like, that's your name, stink eye. <laughs> Ben's just gained a new nemesis in the middle of the campaign, the crow. <laughs> <laughs> oh new rival God. acquired. Too many people liked Ben and he got rid of his old rival. It's time for a new one to take his place. <laughs> <laughs> this battle will be epic. Are you even a hero if you don't have a nemesis? The Dragon Warrior will take on all jellies. <laughs> Update your character sheet to include Crow as a rival. <laughs> Did Ben just like go, oh, this is one animal that Thorn isn't going to like make his enemy? I have to be this animal's enemy. <laughs> we must. I will fix it. it. <laughs> Balance. Status quo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, um, so heading back, taking the roads through the guided district and circlet walk, y'all take the trek back, I presume, to, are you just going back to the Foolish Serpent? Or heading somewhere else to find a place to dance? Or is that later? Um, I, I, I feel like that might be later. That might be later. I think... I don't feel like dancing right now? I, I also no. feel like there's a good chance, considering we have Arno with us, um, that we could have dancing anywhere, anyhow, once True. the mood strikes us. Arno is a dance machine. Arno, Arno will He's a maniac. be able to bring the beats. Yeah, I think it's safe to say I... that we'd probably just go back to the end. Assuming... I guess at this point, I, I don't know how we're all walking as, apart from Lucas towards the back, um, but I imagine wherever Thorn and Issa go is where we kind of follow. So whether Thorn feels like she'll be comfortable at the so end We're leaving this to Thorn, who's been to the inn once, and Issa, who's followed to the inn once. I guess that's, that's fair. Oh man, we should roll survival. <laughs> <laughs> We would, we would know we're off course well before Thorn, so I guess, yeah, we're heading back to the inn. In <laughs> Listen, the, the con to going to the inn is Cinder obviously knows we are at this inn. The pro to going to this inn is we've been at this inn long enough that we will know if who doesn't belong. Like, Fair. so I'll, I'll take the pros over the cons. Plus, we've got three rooms to blockade ourselves into. We can pick one. It's fine. Yep. The end it is. Very good, very good. Alright, well, coming back to the inn after a rather stressful evening, for multiple reasons, uh, you'll head inside, and I think that's time to take a short break. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm? Pausing the recording. And we're back. I didn't have anything more to that. I just, yeah. We're back. Uh, we have arrived, returned to the Foolish Serpent uh, with Lucas and Arno taking up the rear, specifically not holding hands. <laughs> Let's see. Get it at this hour. The sun is pretty much below the cliffs at this point. By the time you get back, um, there's there's a handful of people uh, getting a little rowdy in the uh, eating and drinking area of the inn, but there are multiple available tables that would accommodate all of you. Bedroom. <laughs> yeah, we're not sitting out here in public. It's also incredibly valid. Mm -hmm. All right. So making your way up to a more private place to speak with less chance of people overhearing and interrupting. It doesn't matter, but just to set the my mental state, which room are we going in? Uh, how about Thorn's? Not Arno's room. But Thorn's yeah, room. Yeah, it'd, it'd be Thorn. <laughs> Thorn's room with one bed. Because we moved that other one to the cuddle pile. <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> this room is like empty right now, except for like thorns of one. That back means back that there's perfect. plenty of room for everybody. It's to true. Stand I agree. Around. <laughs> Agreed. I don't know if Arno is going to do his new thing or not. Yeah, Arno. He. Not required. He is? It's a short burst, though, right? Like, it's like 10 minutes, so I don't know... Oh, yeah. If he can just keep spamming that. I mean, this is better than nothing. Say, so how many spell slots it's do true. you have? <laughs> um, save it. Save it for when the conversation gets juicy. There you go. True. We might spend the Wait first ten minutes just staring question. at each other. <laughs> just like, so, uh, how was your ride over? <laughs> <laughs> how was the traffic? <laughs> I forgot to mention, but um, as we were walking through the streets, Issa would have had her hood up, the hood of her cloak, um, and she wouldn't pull that down until they were, like, in the room. That's fair. Mm -hmm. and also, I had a thought that's slightly late, but I'm going to toss it in anyway. Form, hmm. just for fun, if you could give me a medicine check. A medicine check, okay. Because oh, oh. is it a thing worth trying to? Okay. have a zero in medicine but i rolled in check then but i rolled a 19 so that's oh something. nice yeah. nice it will never happen again <laughs> this could be the moment okay i mean there's a 10 percent chance you could roll at least that well again <laughs> um but Yes, so I will say retroactively, when you took Issa's hand uh, back in the necropolis, it just straight up feels like her hand is metal. Okay, so it is likely a prosthetic hand. You would gather as much, yes. Mm -hmm. But it, it moves surprisingly fluidly, so just watching her, like, on the road previously picked up, nothing odd about it. Yeah. It was only touching it that clued you in. But yes, with with that in mind, we are back in the room. I don't have people roll medicine checks often enough. <laughs> it's something that weirdly Erno is proficient in, and I keep forgetting, and then looking at my character sheet and being like, I don't think I've ever rolled. No bandages. That's right. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. you keep you keep assisting. That's how you became so proficient. It just. <laughs> By necessity. 
<laughs> She's done it so many times. He really is. So we're gonna we're gonna go into the room and settle in. Um, uh, Lucas is not going to sit on the bed. Isa is also staying very far away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the bed is the enemy right now. Like, <laughs> I mean, make of that what you will. That's <laughs> true. I mean, I don't think anybody in this group is going to be sitting down. Well, Ben might. Ben will be like, oh, no one's going to stay here. I'll stay here. Thorin is going to be... Uh... Oh, go on. Go ahead. Okay. Yours is more important than mine. Mine was stupid. Okay. I was going to say, Thorin uh, is going to probably, like, not sit on the bed either, but, like, lean against the desk. I think the crow hops down and starts walking across the desk. Probably looking for things to shred. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Jeff is like, and confirm once again. Yeah. Whisper is outside though, right? Whisper didn't come in with us. Um. Yes, I think that's accurate. Um, I was gonna say as the crow hops off her arm, uh, I think Issa's almost gonna go. She's gonna go towards the window. It's and it's an almost like an automatic gesture. Like she just like on autopilot goes to kind of like check the like check what's outside to kind of like scope it out um and then after a few moments whisper lands on the windowsill on the outside and is just kind of like chilling there keeping an eye also before i forget uh lucas give me a con constitution check check he sprained both of his ankles constitution <laughs> check Your, your uh, right ankle is pretty sore, walking on it, like, almost all the way across the city. Uh, no hit point damage. It's just really uncomfortable. You might be favoring. I want to know what that roll is. I want to know what you're rolling. I'm rolling a performance check. <laughs> mm -hmm. 18 to hide. What do I roll to see it? Insight. Is that to hide it, or is that to yes. be like, oh no, my nope. ankle is so Perception. sore. Nope. Performance check to uh, hide the the fact that he's in discomfort. Like the the only thing that Lucas is not a drama king about is injuries to himself. It's true. <laughs> Bandages coming on and off, whines like a baby. Take it like a champ. <laughs> Such a baby. My mod twenty. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. I rolled an eighteen. That's it. So, Arno, Arno doesn't say any. Well, no, he does say something because it's healing word. But one hundred percent, he just like heals, heals him, That's shoots it. him a look, doesn't say anything, just has a smirk and goes back to like everyone else. Like, mm -hmm. trying to have a shit. So, uh, what else do we need to say to clear the air? Back to the present. Well, if Issa, and Ix will turn to Issa, would be so kind to start from the beginning, I think that would help. Issa kind of raises a brow and she's like, you asking for my life story, or...? I want to be a little more specific. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. After you were murdered, how did you come to life? Or did you not die at all? <laughs> sorry, the pause is me out of character. <laughs> Being like... And in character. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Arno can cast his uh, quiet room spell now. <laughs> how does yeah. one word this? Um... I don't know, we just have a like, oh, oh, we're just getting straight into it. Okay. <laughs> it's just not wasting time. It's just like, I'm tired. We're doing this. Assuming you will answer. Daylight. Important, though, Arno's casting a spell. Is what I is what I just heard. Yes. Yeah. Did he 
is. What happens? I mean, does anybody stop him from casting the spell? I don't think so. So it's just what the quiet room spell. I just want, I want to know what it was. Yeah. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't remember exactly what it does. Oh, um, basically. <laughs> um... Oh no. Right. It could be any. It could be a lot of things. I'm assuming what it is. He is casting the spell to make it so that no one can overhear them, or they have just a very high silent table. That's what it's called. Up to ten minutes. Okay. Also, I don't know if bards can mind. <laughs> okay. Cool. Just wanted to. Yep. To make sure. Um, he'll do it on a point that everyone has to be within five feet, so he might tell everyone to scoot in if they're not within five feet. Oh, I don't know if Isma likes that. Uh, she would probably... If she... If she goes to hesitate, Arno would just have a, like, it's just so no one else can hear. I assume you would want no one else to hear. She still seems hesitant, but grudgingly relents. Alright, I'm assuming everyone else moves in, because, you know. As, as Lucas said about the room, taking the pros over the cup. <laughs> cool. So yeah, about that time you were murdered. Yeah, I was about to say, Heather, sorry, can you refresh me on exactly what Ix asked? Yeah, so Ix will go, well, Issa, if you'd be so kind to start from the beginning, and then she made the comment back of my life story, and she goes, I apologize, you're right. The part where you died, or were murdered, and either came back or were still living, we can start there. Okay, so once everyone's been scooted together and the spell's been cast, um, Issa, she's she's standing there and she's got her arms crossed over her chest and it's it's sort of like there's a bit of tension in her posture and it's almost like she's being this close to other people she's like it's almost like she's like physically trying to make herself small so she doesn't so she can like maintain distance from people um, but she would respond I never died I'm not a ghost. What happened? Sorry, this is just me thinking how to... <laughs> Say words. Um, words are hard. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't respond right away, but then she looks at Lucas and she says, Well, after you ran me through left me still a bit of a blur I probably should have died but I think maybe I was just a little too stubborn I did the best I could to <laughs> patch myself up, for lack of a better word, but fire magic isn't exactly 
cooperative when you're on the doorstep of death. And after that, I don't have a very clear memory other than stumbling aimlessly through that forest until I met Lost. And then everything went dark. And then I woke up. And I realized I wasn't dead. Who was Vost? It Ost. Oh, Lost. <laughs> Ost. No. The name A U S D. And I For think the sake uh, this of people taking notes. It's, I, I got that one already. And at the same time that X, X asked who's Oz, Lucas asks fire magic? <laughs> <laughs> In the same moment. <laughs> she kind of... She, she smirks a little bit at Lucas's question, but she kind of is, is glancing between him and X, sort of like a, like who wants their question to be addressed first. <laughs> <laughs> X will sigh and kind of nod to... Lucas first. She sort of, she kind of like acknowledges this and turns to Lucas and says, You never took all that much interest in my research. Not surprised you didn't know. know what? That you can cast magic? Sure. You think I'm incapable of learning to do something like that? No. But you never... How long? She kind of thinks back and she's like, Oh... It wasn't part of our training. Magic was just for me. If it makes you feel any better, the Order didn't know either. I think all he can say is, oh. Damn. kind of waits to see if he is going to ask anything else. <laughs> X asked the other big question. I'm, uh, I mean, I'm sure he's got a billion questions, but I think he's internalizing at the moment. There's, there's a, a series of thoughts. <laughs> so, with the absence of any follow-up questions, she would then turn to X and say, Oth saved my life. Did you know of him before this incident? Or only no. just met him then? I had no idea who he was. So you were still with the Order when you knew Oz? I was. Was he? No. Is that why he left? That, that part was complicated. When Ost found me, I was not in good condition, for lack of a better term. He, well, as I said, he saved my life. I think if he hadn't found me, I probably would have died. But he found me, and for some reason, I guess he decided to help. I stayed with him for several months while I was recovering from 
various ordeals, and he knew what I was. He knew I was with the Order. We talked a lot, and we argued a lot, and he tried to convince me of things, and I tried to convince him of things, and we didn't often see eye to eye, but we got on pretty well. And then one day, things came to a head when I told him I was going back. We argued. We said some things to each other that were quite hurtful. And then I left. And I went back to the Order. But that wasn't the end of it. What was the end of it? <laughs> the Order knew about him. There was really no way for me to keep it secret. Not after At this, she pauses, and there's a bit of hesitation, but then she lifts her right arm, or lifts her right hand kind of in front of her, and she goes and she takes off the glove from her right hand. And you can see that her hand is... It, it looks, like, shape-wise, it looks very much like a normal hand in terms of proportions, but it is very distinctly metallic-looking. I think Lucas is just staring at this. <laughs> yeah, Ix, Ix will comment. She goes, when you used your magic, it took your hand. No. That is not what took my hand. And then she glances at Lucas. Ix will kind of look at Lucas. You took her hand? No! Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Sorry. <laughs> no. Even, even, even Lucas is like, wait, no, no, no. I've done a lot of shit, but I'm not taking shit for this one. Is it oh. that the order took your hand because you failed to bring Was it Lucas back? Sorry, I'm just wait I was gonna wait to see if, if Lucas was gonna ask a thing as well. Uh, oh, own up, Lucas. Own up. Um, <laughs> his and his reaction absolutely is no. Um, I'll say in, in response to Thorne's question, she, Issa would glance at him and shake her head, but then she'd look back at Lucas. I think. Uh, I think his initial reaction was as his same outburst. I think that. Immediately afterwards, he was just, I think it was, like, it followed him there, and then all of a sudden there's, like, a pause. And then there's, like, a moment. And then once again. Oh. And then I think, uh, he's gonna, he's just kind of swallows. And, uh, is it, is it just her hand that we can see? That you can see, yes, it's just her hand. Um, I think his, I think while he doesn't say anything right away, his eyes go to her shoulder. And, she, yeah. To clarify what you can see, like, I don't know how far your sleep goes down, but you do not see any point where uh, metal meets flesh. Metal seems to continue up the sleeve, just kind of far out. She would kind of note the glance at her shoulder, and then again, she sort of gives him like a dry smile, and she's like, Yeah. 
It hurt a little more than I thought it would. I... I... I'm sorry. Ix will try to redirect Issa back, her attention back to Ix and go, What hurt? What happened? <laughs> Issa kind of opens her mouth like she's going to respond, but then she seems to hesitate and it looks like, it looks like she's debating with herself whether she should say what she was going to say. Was it that, in that last altercation you two had, your shoulder was injured and got infected, and from there? It wasn't an infection, it was a very permanent form of nerve damage. If it had been healed by magic shortly after, maybe it wouldn't have gotten as far as it did, but that's not how it happened. And in the end, I could barely use my right arm. Ost, Ost being a creative sort of person, offered me an alternative. And me having nothing to lose, I said, fuck it. Why not? Ix does pull a face of like... Ost on the... on the orders radar. Sorry, could you repeat? I heard two things happening at the same time. Oh, Ardo had just been like, and that's what put Ost on the orders radar. Issa nods at that. Um, while I was with him, I was sending reports back to them. Not in detail, but at least to keep them apprised of the general circumstances of my situation so they wouldn't think that I was a deserter. I wanted them to know that I was going to come back. But... It would have been very hard to conceal this, and she holds up the arm again, from M for any long-term supportive period. So they knew. They gave me a mission. I was to go back and either secure his cooperation or take him out. I and went. Which... Sorry, Ix would have interrupted at that, saying which did you choose, but you kept going, so I apologize. I didn't give enough time for you to oh. finish. No, it's okay. Um, if, if you want, you can interrupt. Uh... Oh, it's just, you were continuing on anyway. All she would have said is, and which did you choose? As far as the order is concerned, Ost is dead. There's possibly just the slightest breath of relief at the word neither from Thorn. <laughs> <laughs> like he was definitely holding his breath for that answer. See, I realized something about myself started with Lucas, but it was confirmed with Ost. 
I have very little difficulty hurting people I don't care about. But I... I don't think I'm capable of harming someone who means something to me. I'd like to insight check her to see if she feels like that's a fault. Because the wording of that makes it sound like she thinks this is a shortcoming of some kind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I so yeah, it's a check. And then Lucas will have an immediate reaction to this, so before you say anything afterwards. Uh sure. Nineteen on that insight check. Dang, Thorn's doing well today. Yeah. He really is. He is paying so much attention. <laughs> <laughs> Was Arno gonna roll as well? It, it sounded like you wanted to, so I didn't want to run ahead. Oh, that was only a 13. That's okay. Okay. Um, with a 13, I think it's hard to gauge specifics, but there's definitely a sense of something conflicted. Um, with mm. the 19... Sorry, what, what was the question again? Whether she thinks that it's a shortcoming? Yes. I think with a 19, you kind of get the sense that as, as far as... There, it's a conflicted yes um, in the sense that like as far as being in being a Volstrucker, it's a liability. Mm -hmm. But in a more general sense, it's it's harder to to say how she feels about it. Okay. In general. I I will say the the part where she said I, I find it very like I don't have a hard time hurting people that I don't care about, there's also a conflicted sense about that. Okay. It's not like she's proud of that, necessarily. Yeah. What was Lucas going to say? Uh, well, she says, I don't think I'm capable of harming someone. It means something to me. And I think that in that instant, Lucas blurts out, you came at me with a knife. look she gives him at that is it's a bit tired but it's also a, a little bit regretful and she says I was going for the chain You turned your back on me and you were walking away and I was hurt and angry and upset and I despised that stupid fucking pendant with every fiber of my being and I was determined to take it away because I thought that it was the reason for everything. hindsight it was stupid and reckless of me to do that but I can't change what I did I'm sorry for scaring you I'm sorry I didn't tell you
after letting that sit a moment, Ix will look back at Issa again. So when you didn't follow the orders for Ost, is that when you pursued Luca? Not immediately. I had to call in quite a few favors to even get assigned to that particular job. But I was determined that if anybody was going to be sent after him, it was going to be me. How did they find out? When did they about, find out? About what? Me. That you left? No, but it's it's been two years. What? How did they find your trail? Yes. It took some doing, but I first picked up your trail in the dash, was it? I know you well, Lucas, and you're not exactly subtle. I'm mentally cycling backwards. And I think that's where I think it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, stars, I can't remember. Um, was uh, I'm going to be a little vague here, but was that... Mm -hmm. uh, was that uh, before or after uh, he received uh, the request about Hopper Duke? It was probably while he was en route to Hopper Duke. Okay. Then, yeah, it's where I think it is. All right. Thank you. But why now? What it, what got them to assign anybody in the first place? Lisa kind of just shrugs. I don't know, Lucas. You know as well as I do, they don't tell us anything more than they want us to know. I imagine you both know a lot about the inner workings of the Order. I mean, that's half the reason nobody leaves, right? So... Probably the same reason as always that they would come after you now rather than later or sooner or whatever. Unless you have reason, Lucas, to believe that they might have more reason than normal to go after you. No, it's more... I... basically spent the last two years wondering when they would. And I guess I just don't know what finally tipped them off. What moment I fucked up. There. Not something I'll learn then. I suppose it could have been any number of reasons. All we know it could be the fact that I knew the truth. As far as any of the other agents, at least at our level, were concerned, you were dead. Missing in action. Obviously that lie wasn't going to work on me, considering I was there. But I was sworn to secrecy. What was your goal then? If not to kill him, then what? Torment him with notes? Follow him around? I wanted to know the truth. I wanted to see what kind of person he was. Now. 
and what is your opinion? I'm not sure. He's not quite the man I remember. Remains to be seen if that's good or bad. How many people in Hubbard Duke did you dispatch looking for him? Pause while I confer with the DM. <laughs> <laughs> What's the body count, DM? <laughs> oh god, just in Hubbard Duke. I don't want I don't want a freaking list, okay? I just well, that's probably the list. Let's just I mean, would it make sense to kill people like while looking for Lucas? Would that not just make a trail to follow the fullest trekkers by? Possibly, but that's why Ix is asking, but there's also another reason she's asking, so True. You do have your um person. I don't remember what their name was, but it's been a while since we've talked about them. Yeah. Wallflower. Wallflower, yes, thank you. And I was like, I got you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm here. Hey, I have some personal stake in this. Thank you. <laughs> yep. It's been so long since I've written Hopper in my notes that Google <laughs> has forgotten that it's a word. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Yep. Had to re add it to the dictionary. I don't think my face accurately conveys all of the variety of emotions that are going through Lucas through this entire conversation. <laughs> Dude is probably, yeah. I mean, he was already <laughs> going through it, but now he's going through it in real time. And it's yep. like, uh, it's like buffering. It's like, I have a question about that, but I want to know about this, but I want to know about that. Keep talking. Don't stop. I'm not going to interrupt this. <laughs> <laughs> Racking up the list. <laughs> why did why did Lucas become a detective, everybody? Because he was finally allowed to ask questions, and boy did he! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't realize his true calling until after he could do it. His true calling is he is incessantly nosy. <laughs> Give me all the tea! We're back. Sorry, what was it that Ix asked back. again? Exactly. Ix asked Issa pointedly, how many people in Hubberduke did you dispatch trying to get information on Lucas? She kind of smiles a little bit and says, I didn't have to dispatch anybody. Reputation goes a long way. Scaring people is enough. Ix does sigh, and she, like, a relief, and she does not hide that. Okay. Now Wallflower only has to worry about the critters! No, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> a little less down the priority list, but yeah. They probably won't show up. <laughs> the hell, stars? I'm gonna say they probably wouldn't show up. This is D and D. Death lurks around every corner. <laughs> D and D is short for death and death. <laughs> How did you stumble upon Thorn then? You mean in Basazan? Yeah, because obviously we had followed us up into that point. We didn't even know he had switched. So, where did you find? I mean, he told us where he was found, but. How did you find him in that shithole of a city? Sheer happenstance. Inside check. 
Go for it. Never mind. That's a seven. <laughs> Thorn is using all of them. No one else gets any. It's that's the balance. Probably telling the truth. But also, Lucas is convinced that she's a dirty liar. So who knows? Lucas is convinced that she's a good liar, not that she's a dirty liar. Uh huh. Would Arno or anybody else like to insight check her? Thorn wouldn't. He does be like believe that it's sheer <laughs> sheer happenstance. No, Ix was gonna leave that be. She's not gonna insight check that. All right. Hold on, I can't well, tell were... if the rustling from Andy is that she's about to roll or not. Oh, like, <laughs> she didn't say anything, that's so... <laughs> that's fair. Insight checks are not obligated. We're just leaving a moment for them. She's still not but saying anything. So also, I would love signs that Andy is still alive. Yeah, Andy, are you there? Because we can't hear you, if you are. Your profile was white, so I'd say no. I was looking at... No, that's below yeah, her person. and above her. Andy! Are you muted? She might have stepped away. Oh, alright. Well, that's fine. That's a lie. <laughs> hey, person. Andy, Hello. are you- Are you back? There she is. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. We- We were asking you if you wanted an insight check. Did you step away? Or did you hear oh. any of that? <laughs> no, the call ended. So I was gonna... Oh, that's oh. weird. I was trying to figure out what was happening. Yeah, all of a sudden it said call ended. So. What's oh. the last part you heard? You you never disappeared from the voice chat. Yeah. That's... Yeah, it went si It said call ended and then it was silent afterwards. So what I was, was the... trying to figure out what was going yeah. on. What was the last thing you heard? Um, That Lucas died in seven okay yeah then that was yeah. right before we asked if you were also going to insight check which you don't have to but oh, we're just yeah. asking <laughs> no arno, arno wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> i felt like it was definitely something he would that's why i was like pushing it <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so he got a mm, 22 and and the insight check was on the sheer happenstance comment right Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's telling the truth. Yeah, Arno would probably look at her and be like, and why did you decide to help him? Can I say something? Can I answer? It would be really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> As I think Thorn, partly to lighten the mood because we are all so serious. Um, would just be like, well, she just heard my calls for help and couldn't help but want to lend me her aid. You do make a very pretty damsel in distress. I do. But that was do. not what I was asking. <laughs> 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 also, by calls for help, I mostly mean uh, coughing up seawater at the time, but... <laughs> <laughs> I will have questions about that later. <laughs> I think you guys know about that already, but go on. Anyway. I don't know if Arno knows about the Ukatoa making him drown. Dude. I also don't think that we knew that he was having them regularly. He's been telling Ix mostly. Oh, fair. It's yeah. been a while, so... Anyway. It has not come up in quite some time, but anyway, so Arno is staying on it. <laughs> Ix will um, give a, a half-hearted, half-smile to Thorn, Thorn's comments to lighten the mood. She'll look back at Issa and, um, well, I owe you thanks for bringing him back to us. And then she's going to step out of the circle. It's been about ten minutes and she needs space, so she's going to step back out and lean against the wall that's right behind her and just kind of take a moment. She's going to play with her crystal necklace as she typically does and just kind of just have it in her hand. 
Yeah, uh, if Ix is stepping out of the circle, uh, Issa is also gonna move away. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's oh, like, opportunity! Okay, cool, great. We're done. <laughs> Good powwow, I'm done. <laughs> Personal bubble. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to watch the time and see, like, when did that actually happen? And I <laughs> the answer is now. <laughs> we have determined it. <laughs> Oh, that's fair. Oh, my phone, phone has... My phone has just registered that I'm on a call with you guys. Again. So oh, weird. weird. I don't know what your phone's doing. It needs to stop. <laughs> Why did you decide to help Thorn? <laughs> yeah. Oh, our, you know, Issa. <laughs> okay, like... I, was, I was about to ask, like, is that... Are you still waiting for that answer, or have we, like, moved beyond that? <laughs> no. Arno has not moved on beyond that. <laughs> It's did. Um, okay, so Issa kind of like observes this exchange and notes Ix's remark, um, but then when she realizes that Arno's still kind of like waiting for a response, she seems to think for a bit, um, and then after a while, she she says, Well, at the start, it seemed like the useful thing to do. I wouldn't be here today if some random stranger hadn't decided to help me, so I don't know. Maybe it was the gods' way of giving me a chance to return the favor. Did you know that he was one of Lucas's friends? Of course. Well, I was definitely surprised to find him there, seeing as I saw you all leave together. Well, I'm sure he filled you in on who was actually with us. Oh yeah, she knows all about that. So, why the angry note to Lucas when we ran on Corel? Because she was pissed off at me. I mean, that's obvious. She was pissed off the entire time, but clearly it, it was furious compared to how she is at this moment. I mean, I, I'm sure she's still mad, but the idea... Where did the note come from? Was it just anger because he slipped through your fingers? Or was it just residual from before? Or was it simply to torment him? Lucas was the first person who gave me a name that mattered to me. And he was also the one who took a name that others gave me as an insult and turned it into something endearing. And in the span of one afternoon, he took both. Felt like he took them away from me. One he left on a wall in Bazozan, where no one who ever knew me would ever see it. And the other, he casually handed to you, she says, looking at Ix. And yeah, I was hurt by the thought that I could be that easily forgotten and replaced. And then he teleported to another continent, and I guess my feelings just boiled over from there. I 
that's not what any of that was supposed to mean. That Ix's moment. Like, oh, oh, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, no, no, X is what? She she would look at Lucas confused, like, okay. And she goes, one, she didn't, she wasn't there when he had written anything on the Bazazan wall, but she can figure that out. But she's, can, Heather knows, but she's confused on what other name possibly he gave Ix. So she's kind of racking her brain. So she's just looking at Lucas, like, the fuck? But yeah, go ahead. It's all, it's all good. Um, <coughs> that was not what that was supposed to mean. Okay. Uh, that moment at the wall, carving your name, was me giving myself permission, finally, to remember you. It was the first time that I've said your name, I guess not out loud. The first time that I've acknowledged your name in two years, because I couldn't. And it was finally time to remember you properly. And that moment in the inn, that other one, it was a mistake. It just... It just slipped out. I shouldn't have. Out of character, I'm like, oh, Lucas, that was bad. (laughs) 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 I was was still trying to... You, you, say, you say that out of character, but, like, I just want you to know that I was already contemplating Issa's response before you said that. Because mm-hmm. um, he mm-hmm. says this, and Issa kind of just gives him a look. And she says, You want to be careful, Lucas? Don't hurt one person to appease another. Um, (laughs) oh, I didn't prepare for this. My brain is just, oh boy. Um, can we have this conversation in our text RP? (laughs) No, you do it now. (laughs) No, that's fine. If you want to do a text RP, I'm I'm, I'm okay. Just looking at the time. I mean, it is five minutes. It is five minutes. I'm okay to call it. They can they can end this conversation satisfactorily in five minutes, right? No, <laughs> totally not. <laughs> Mostly because my brain, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to say a lot of things that I don't mean to say as I'm scrambling to figure out what to say. Well, that makes it perfect and true to life. <laughs> I know it really does. <laughs> no, but no. If you want to continue RP, I'm I'm cool with that. I mean, if that's all right. <laughs> yeah. Also. Also, does Heather slash Ix know what name Issa is talking about? Okay. Heather knows. Ix does not. And it's uh, the, the name Princess. <laughs> and I believe Lucas did show everybody that letter, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Find your princess. So yeah. Ix might be able to guess, but... Yeah, 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 in this, yeah. In this moment, she can't recall. She's too busy it's okay. being in the moment. But she I... it will, again, probably come up. I've I've already started off horribly on the wrong foot and need to uh need to need to re recourse because that moment overall was not a mistake. The name in that moment was <laughs> Can't wait for that yeah, backpedal. You, <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, you said that name and Kitty and I are both like Stars yeah, yeah. messaged me after that. It was a great time. <laughs> I was just like it happened and I was like, oh, Oh no. <laughs> I I spent <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then the this owl showed up right will after. Have consequences. The butterfly effect is strong. <laughs> <laughs> the owl will remember this. Is that what that was? <laughs> like, oh okay. 
That's but fine. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna write this, this down. This action will have consequences. But yeah, overall, I am I am more than fine if more of this conversation like waits until we're in person. That's fine. But at no, least this I, particular conversation, I'd like to do. I think stuff. a lot of the moments from here on out would be best done in text RP because I think we're gonna probably have multiple conversations between multiple people. So <laughs> yeah, um, I'm cool with text RP. Yeah, and especially like Stars has already said that it can take a couple of days for like the next thing to trigger mm -hmm. so if our rp spans over the course of a couple of days then that also allows multiple conversations to happen so this is where i'm gonna mm -hmm. end the recording for today yeah because <laughs> so, i assume the end of session 44. yeah <laughs>